The group huddled as the deadline inched closer, watching television news reports concerning their status. But I must tell those who failed to report for duty th this morning, they are in violation of the law, and if they do not report for work within 48 hours, they have forfeited their jobs and will be terminated. The time had arrived. No longer were these people on strike. They were now technically unemployed, and phones were taken off the hook, putting an end to threatening calls. FAA officials refused to let News 15 into the Bear Field control tower. He won't be able to talk with me. But did say that letters of dismissal were being prepared and are being sent to striking air traffic controllers. Meanwhile, the now former controllers had set up picket lines. We, we are determined. Uh, we feel our cause is justified. Uh, we've all now been terminated. And uh, even if we wanted to end it, it couldn't be ended. Uh, that is to say, we have no intentions of ending it, but if we wanted to, it's, we couldn't. We're no longer employees. And as they watch their union leaders on television tonight, the strikers must be wondering, what next? John Crane, News 15. They're ready to taxi. Uh, we'll be departing on a heading of 310 degrees, 3,000 feet. Over. 21288 for Wayne Clearance Delivery. There will be no Stage 3 available today. Stage 3 means radar control, separating aircraft flying under visual flight rules by 500-foot intervals. It's normally in effect, but since the strike, manpower shortages at Bearfield have forced the Stage 3 service to be discontinued. Take it, 288. Proceed on course, clear for takeoff. 288, we're on course. After going airborne, our pilot explained the effect of not having the radar control. Perhaps a slight risk, but it's not that great. It's not really any drastic situation that we can't handle. And you're on your own then? We're on our own. The 35-minute flight to South Bend went smoothly, but a taped information service at an unknown metropolitan airport told us what's been known since the strike first began. The return trip was routine, but without today's optimum weather conditions, our travels might have been anything but routine. So is air travel safe with some air controllers off the job? Yes, but not as safe as in the past. John Crane, News 15.